Australia has always been cut off from the rest of the world, but during the pandemic, it literally closed its borders and stopped most people, including me, from coming in or going out. As a result, COVID has hardly touched the country, but Aussies have had to endure long lockdowns. It's getting extremely repetitive in terms of like creativity, but not even just creativity, just being in the same place in general. Like the only way that you can appreciate being at home is if you are able to travel to other places in the first place. Now don't get me wrong, Warrigal, Melbourne, Australia, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I fucking love the place. But just like anything, just too much of one thing is just not a good thing in my humble opinion. So it's just good to shake it up. That's all I'm saying. So essentially we bought some flights to go to America. Now you might be thinking, well, Hayden, why don't you just go on some road trips around Australia? There's so many places to explore around here. And to that, I say, you're absolutely right. But I'm gonna go to America anyway, because fuck it, fuck it. I'm gonna be away from this guy and this guy for over two years. <laughs> well, yeah, I say two years yeah. for no reason. Yeah, no. that makes no sense. I have no idea when I'm going to see Liam and Lamont next, so... <laughs> Is this goodbye? <laughs> I'm gonna see you in two to three months in Europe, okay? Do you think I'll be able to make it? Yes! Alright. Yeah. I'll yeah. see you then. Oh, see you then, really? brother. The thing is with this American trip, it's not just me that's going, it's a whole crew of us. We've got me, CK Creative, my friend Scott, his girlfriend, my sister, her boyfriend, and like we've just got a whole bunch of people going. But the thing is, we all have to test negative on a COVID test just before our flight. Otherwise, if we test positive, we're not allowed to fly. If one person tests positive, then I don't know what we're gonna do. I, I don't know whether we're gonna cancel the trip or like what what the ha what's gonna happen with that. Ruby's stressing out. Did you get a PCR test? I got a PCR test ages ago. I forgot mine back and it was a positive. And I have freaking everything, but Ruby doesn't because hers lapsed because I didn't test it in time. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it's fine. They're just stressing out. I don't think it's I don't think it's a problem. She's know. already had it. She's not symptomatic. She's not contagious anymore. I don't know. Because right. if she hasn't had the PCR test, then she can't prove that she's had COVID. And that means that she might not be able to get into the States. Like, at all. Like... Is that a prerequisite? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's worth stressing out about. Yeah, I don't know. So I had a quick look online about Ruby's situation and literally couldn't find anything to do with the topic. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they're going to be all right. So in the past few days, I have been like going out to like get groceries and doing that kind of stuff, but I haven't been going out of my way to like see people or do anything like that. Nicola ended up having like a last minute party, which I had no idea about. So there was like 15 people at our place. And because of that, like I'm kind of scared that I might've contracted COVID from one of them. Here's the path. Hi, Hayden James Pedersen. Your COVID test result is negative. We're all good. That's good. Everyone up to this point had tested negative except for Ruby and Scott. Hey, Scott. Scotty, how'd you go with your result? Ruby tested positive. Wait, what? Nah, I was just joking. We oh. Got one back. We did like half an hour and then Ruby just went to go to the toilet and literally just then come running back. Magic smile on her face because she got a negative, so we're all good. We're all good. We're all set. We're all good. Oh. I'm on a plane, bro. <laughs> we're in LA. Wow. <laughs> I love how they're so patriotic. Welcome to our country. This is our flag. It's 10 <laughs> times bigger than any flag you have, by the way. <laughs> here he is. How are you, bro? We're here. Hello. 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 You made it. You made it. All right. 
Alrighty, we've all made it. I can't believe it. Coming over here to California is great and all, but it's more than just coming over here for the experiences and stuff. Like it's also because it's kind of representative of like a new canvas for me, like a blank slate. As I said, like in being in Melbourne, it's gotten like repetitive with my creativity and with my life in general. And like, I feel like my life has been really stagnant, but being in a new environment, I feel like has opened up new doors to be able to open up my life a bit more, which I'm really excited for. So I'm excited for you to come on the journey with me. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.